welcome to the video my friends today we're going to talk about the day before and its development and the latest news regarding the delays and its workforce so first up we're going to talk about this post about the move to unreal engine 5 which is uh, resulted in the delay to march 1st 2023 and in the post it reads millions of people have added day before to their wish list making the day before one of the most anticipated games in the world feeling and understanding the great responsibility that we face with enormous gratitude in our hearts we're pleased to announce that the day before is switching to the new unreal engine 5 technology the transition to a more advanced and adapted open world engine will make the gameplay of the day before even more fantastic in this regard we inform you that the new release date of the game will be march 1st 2023 so that's that news for those that missed it. Um, yeah, putting like a, a year's delay on a game for a whole game engine change. I mean, it's not like a whole game engine change. It's upgrading from Unreal Engine 4 to 5. Uh, Fortnite was reportedly just a switch over and a couple of little tweaks and it pretty much worked uh, from the get-go. But like I said, that's, that's Epic's own game with their own engine. So they know how all that works. The day before, uh, I don't know how in deep they are with Epic and how much support they're going to get. Um, but yeah, that's um, seems very optimistic, uh, a year's delay. But that's not only the, the, the only worrying thing, is if we go to this website, Well Played here has reported that developers for the day before called for volunteers to help with their projects. So we scroll down here, let's have a look. A representative for Fantastic has provided the following comments in regards to the company's part-time volunteer program. And uh, the values of our company are about dedication, willingness to help and deliver on great products. And in doing so, being kind and open-minded during the short history of our company there have been people who have approached us and wanted to help in different ways it doesn't relate to code writing to development uh, itself though but other important things such as moderation localization or simply rooting for us and cheering us up hmm that's a bit weird uh okay i don't, I don't really hear uh, of other development teams needing people just dedicated to cheering people up and rooting for you but okay uh, if you make a good product, the community should do that on their own um, without having to uh, ask for volunteers to do that for you. Uh, that, yeah, that's really, that's strange. Okay. Uh, requested more information about the company's approach to volunteering. It does appear that uh, any unpaid work is not directly contributed to the day before's creation, though things like localization are part of the development process. So question still remains. We'll update this article as uh, we receive more information. Um, yeah, so they, they full-time uh, volunteers are apparently are paid. Um, but it's not very clear on that. Um, but part-time volunteers are unpaid, a little bit weird. And again, that kind of like gives you uh, something else to worry about with the development of the uh, the day before and whether it's actually going to, I mean, if it even makes that date and even comes out, is it even going to be any good? Uh, at this point, I've lost all kind of, I mean, I lost hype anyway and hope for these kind of games. They all say I'm going to be uh, the best thing in the survival genre that's ever happened and they they all fall flat uh so far that's so how I, I can't see this uh, happening in, in in the from the get-go you know it's it I, my hope was all smashed from previous uh heartbreaks with these types of games so i'm really not expecting this at all to achieve anything i've wishlisted it as many of you have uh that may follow the channel but uh i i really expect this to be total garbage when it comes out um hiring volunteers you're not going to get the best work from volunteers and hiring people to cheer you up it's a little bit weird if you make a good product you're gonna get that anyway um and so far you're just like saying oh big announcement this week uh release a screenshot or big oh more news this week i'll be delaying it it's like really weird marketing uh strategies that this company uses it's very strange very strange and i, and I kind of had a little bit of uh hope for it with their uh, hide and seek game that came out i've got it in my steam library here somewhere and I, I i was gonna make a video on it and then they just really annoyed me with their marketing strategies uh do not pre-order i would highly suggest not pre-ordering i'm not gonna pre-order if um i get sent a key and they're really really positive and and expecting their game to do extremely well then uh, they'll send out keys and people will do honest reviews and people will be like actually yeah i'll i'll i'll, I'll eat my words and i apologize for that you've actually pulled it off but till that day comes, uh, really do not trust uh, anything from this team. Uh, it, it looks highly scripted anyway. Like we've said before in previous videos, the footage just looks like it was scripted. Uh, it does look good. It looks promising, but uh, uh, always too good to be true. Or if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. And all those other sayings, uh, just let me know in the comment section below what you think. I'm just baffled at the volunteer work and needing people to cheer them up. 
uh, I could just imagine them sat around the office just with people uh, just going, Ooh, yeah, 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 keep it up, boys. You're doing well with like little banners and stuff and popping little party poppers. And oh, I don't I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like button as it gets the video out there a lot and more people watch it. Subscribe if you enjoy the channel and want to see more. Also, about 16% of my viewers are actually subscribed, so that's not a lot at all. Subscribing on YouTube is absolutely free. It just lets you, hopefully, uh, YouTube let you know when I've uploaded again. So subscribe and uh, you'll get notified when more videos uh, appear and hit that bell button as well if you wish to uh, get uh, more of a intimate notification. And I'd really appreciate it as well. With that said, let's just have a discussion in the comment section below what we think about this. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very weird to me. I don't know. But for now, I love y'all, and I'll see you peeps next time.